is a belly boat. I am a belly boat. I am looking quite belly boltish. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. But that's who we're going to be playing with today. Not me, but Belly Bolt EX. Testing out his uh, paralyzing, whatever it is called. Uh, we got a notice here that says the following cards have been temporarily banned from play Spirit Tomb, Tinglu, Klefki, Gorobis, Empoleon V, and Aerodactyl V Star. Um, so a couple of those I do play with, and I can't play with those decks right now. Uh, and I don't even know if I really want to play standard right now without a clef key. Just because there's so much BS that goes on with, um, like, all the basics that have all these insane abilities that let you just storm off on your first turn. What they really need to be banning is all of these, uh, crazy chimpow things and comfies honestly like the stupid things that they need to be banning but anyways uh god has been screaming in my ear for a couple weeks now about belly bolt so we're gonna check out belly bolt i don't think i have any um so we're gonna have to actually get some uh, but the Paralyzing Ball is what I'm looking at, which is a uh, 2 Lightning Energy and 1 of any type for 160 damage. You may discard 2 Lightning Energy from this Pokemon to make your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. Um, they normally don't do things like this because it's just so dangerous to be able to do that uh, for the entire game. Um, so... We're going to test it out and see how we feel about playing Belly Bolt in Standard. Um, what they didn't ban, which I am surprised, is Noivan EX with its Covert Flight. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. I guess it's not that strong, right? It doesn't shut anything down, really, so... Um, but we need Tad Bulb. Hey, and bulb. Which one's better? Flip a coin. You've had your bone tank Pokemon now paralyzed. I guess this one's better. The, I don't think the 10 damage is going to make a difference at all. Um, okay, well, we'll do four of these. We might need to add a second belly bolt, but right now well, let's do 3 2 split. We'll do Moraidon. Because you can't play a lightning deck without Maradon. And Marip. This one. Yeah. One, two, three. And Flaffy. Oops. Wait, maybe I should move my thing for you. Uh, up here? There we go. So you can see the cards that I'm doing. Um, and Flaffy. Oops. Fluffy. And we'll do the gold ones, because the gold ones are thick. Um, might need a 3-3 split for the belly bolt. But I'm down to try it with two to start. I think we need a mana fee, because I think every deck should probably run a mana fee. We need to put... What else? We need to put uh, Greninja. Just because we're going to be discarding, I think discarding our lightning energy is going to be really key for this deck. Um, it's got three retreat cost, which is a pain, because after you discard the two lightning energy, you're going to want to retreat. So I wish it had a single retreat cost. That would be really, really dope. Uh, but Pikachu does have a free retreat cost, which is kind of interesting. This Pikachu. Pika! And then Dynamic Bolt, which is 220. Uh, flip a coin if heads or tails discard all energy from this Pokemon. But it's got Free Retreat, which is really cool. I think this is a pretty strong card, and I could definitely see us just jamming two in here. So let's do it and say, why not? Pikachu EX is good enough. Um, and then you could do interesting things with Switch, with Escape Rope, with different things like that. 
I guess we could play cross switcher in this deck just because this is an effect that we're going to be wanting to see a lot of the time. Um, and I don't think we need to play the whatchamacallit, right? I'm like, I don't think we need to play... Um, like, Irita is... I think Arvin's going to be a better choice for this deck versus that. Battle via P-Pass is indefinite must. Always. I don't think Beach Court is going to do it for us for that. But... I could see... What else? Mm, I like Tool Jammer a little bit better than any other Tool card right now, I think. I mean, I like uh, Choice Belt. I think Choice Belt is good. Choice Belt might be pretty effective. 160 versus 190 does make a difference in some instances. Um, but I want to try out Tool Jammer. I think Tool Jammer is pretty strong. Hi, Natty. It seems strong. Um, another thing we could do would be like one of these, right? Put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon V and it's, I mean, it's an attack. What about, oh geez, I forgot these existed. <laughs> That's just such a stupid strong card. What's up, sweet girl? You need a treat right now? Are you serious? I think energy switch actually might be pretty good for us, so we're gonna try out two of those at least. Experience share, that could be a tool to get, right? I could see that being pretty effective. Uh, maybe a one of. A scape rope is definitely, you know, we could definitely play two of these bad boys. Minimum. Minimum two. Nanny, get your nails out of my chair, sweetie. Get your nails out of my chair. We'll do one forced seal stone. We can snag it with Arvin. Mm. I think Professor's Research is probably going to be the draw mechanic that we use because um, we want those energy in our discard pile. We don't probably don't mind dumping the hand a lot of the time. So we can throw one of those in there. Or, I mean, not one, but a couple. Clara might be okay. I can see Clara being decent. Level ball might be decent. Just to get Flaffy. Easier than playing. But Ultra Ball is going to be awesome for this deck too. So we'll do four Ultra Balls instead. Of uh, anything else. Um... I don't know if we need four nest balls. I think we're going to need like two nest balls. So let's do two nest balls because... I mean, we play Maridon. That's the thing about it where it's just like, dude, Maridon is so crazy strong. Path to the Peak we can definitely play because a lot of our stuff is not going to care about that. Um... Okay, stop might be good just to dump some stuff in there, but we can come back to that circle back around to that one I think professor's research is probably going to be the one that we want to play Haven't played professor's research in quite some time um, So that'll be a nice little change to be like draw seven <laughs> Feels good and I think there might be an Ampharos EX, so we can check into Ampharos EX because that could be um, something. Let's do one of one of these Serena's because Serena will work well with with our synergy. I think. Um, I think there's an Ampharos EX, so we can go looking for that one after this. Super Rod pretty strong so we can throw at least one in there stormy mountains i do like it but once you slam out a couple b battle vip passes stormy mountains because comes something you don't need anymore switch is still always uh is good enough to play i don't think we need to play gold ones but i think in this deck we can definitely run two of them and arvin will be good for getting uh whatchamacallit 
our cross switcher game on. I like the silver border cards a lot. So we're up to 39 trainers right now. We probably will need to cut back quite a few. Um, let's drop a tool jammer because we don't need two of them. Because if we're playing Arvin, that'll be kind of like our staple card. Uh, what else? Energy switch is fine. I mean, the, pet, the deck is jammed right now. Alright, um, double... None of the special energy, maybe gift energy would be cute. I think jet energy is going to be the one we want to play. So we'll jam four jet, ener jet energies in there. Is this... If you have more prizes that don't have a rules box, it has to be no rules box. Man, this card is so annoying to play against with those crazy, uh... Whatchamacallums. Gardevoirs, the baby Gardevoir, and I guess just lightning energy, right? So let's see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe eight is enough. Is jet energy too many? Maybe just two gen energies and nine basic lightning energies. I can see Jet Energy being a three of. That's a uh, probably a pretty good card for the for the deck. Um, I still like Cross Switcher. I want to see it with Arvin, especially with the deck. This deck, maybe Energy Switch is not necessary. We can drop one of it. See how it works, I guess. Um, let's drop Serena and say too much. Don't need it. Professor's research is plenty. Mm, maybe just three Ultra Balls. And um, I don't want to play 35 trainers. I don't think. Should we get rid of the to the tools? These two. I like them though. Let's drop energy switch for now and say maybe we don't need it, maybe we do. Um Arvin's good. Two more. I don't think we have room to drop these, right? I mean we got those two Pikachus just lurking there. Let's drop one Pikachu. We don't need more than one. And a tad bulb, a flaffy maybe. Mm. Or maybe uh, bum. I guess experience trade doesn't work because we're going to be discarding the energy a lot of the time. Now, let's see. Ampharos. There it is. Electro Ball for 60 damage and then Thunder Strike Tail, 140 plus. You may discard two energy from this Pokemon to have it, its attack do this attack do 100 more damage. They're starting to word these things much more differently than they have in the past. 330 HP. I mean. Let's put one in because it's so strong that it's possible we might be able to get it out there quite often. Especially if Flaffy and Mareep are part of our main build. Um, something that we're always going to want onto the, the bench. I could see us dropping a Tad Bulb, but let's keep it in there for now. And should we drop Pikachu completely? I guess so. Um, Electro, you might discard three lightning energy. I think that's way too much, but this one I like a lot. Your opponent reveals their hand if you find an energy there. This deck does 90 more damage. I mean, I think that's pretty decent. Is there another one that I'm missing? I thought, no, these are the three. I thought there was one more. Maybe it rotated out recently. 
I mean, let's just keep the Amphros EX. That thing is massive. And the main thing is the Belly Bolt anyways. Trying to get this Paralyzing Ball going. Uh, so we need to cut one. Should we cut an energy? Just drop it back down. To two jet. No, I like three jet energies. Let's drop a tool jammer. Okay. I'm down to test it out. Let's call it... Oh wait, my thing is in the way of the typing. There we go. Let's call it... Belly Bolt. Mm. Buffoonery. I don't think that's how you spell buffoonery. Um. Belly bolts balls. <laughs> Let's call it that. There we go. Belly bolts balls because of paralyzing ball. That sounds good. We gotta get a nice little deck box. This reminds me a lot of Belly Bolt, but maybe there's a better one for us. Like a Leech Chonk. Or Maraidon. I like this one, that one's sick. But I'm thinking maybe the sleeves will be Maraidon. Mmm. Got the regular lightning deck. Box. I like Lee Chonk. Lee Chonk is chonky. We can exchange that for six hundo. Definitely should have a Lee Chonk. Um. Oops, sorry, my camera's back in the way. Putting you right down here for now. And card sleeves. Let's go with the Maraidon. Maraidon. Boom. And what should be our coin? Oh, should we put uh, which is what's his name in there? We should probably put him in there. He's such a good Pokemon. Such a good little Pokemon, Bidoof. I used to make fun of Bidoof, but a lot of the Pokemon I make fun of, I end up really liking, and they're strong. So that just goes to show what I know. Hmm. This could be a pretty good card for our deck, but we're going to focus on it being a not-so-good deck first, and say... me, We're testing out... Whatchamacallum. Belly Bolt. Alright, let's do that. Let's go test it out. Shit is active! Well, this is going to be so unfun because we're going to see a million comfy decks, probably. And we have no way of blocking their abilities and they're going to just go on a rampage and do a bunch of whatchamacallums. Uh, Mirage Gates. I don't, I don't think the standard format's very healthy right now. In my personal opinion, I think there's a lot to do, a lot you can do, but when it comes to like me having a lot of fun, I mean these decks are insanity. Every single one of them, I feel like it's the hardest game I've ever played every time I play a game. You know, it blows my mind how insane these decks are. So hopefully we don't see Comfy. But it's Lugia, which ain't 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 fun neither. Ain't no fun neither. All right. Um, I guess we get Greninja and try and draw into a. What do we just get Maridon? Gosh, Maridon is so freaking strong, dude. That's insanity. That is absolute insanity. Maridon's so strong. Okay, then. I guess we get Maridon, because Maridon's just that strong, right? Wow. Instead of drawing cards, yep, we get Maridon. Alrighty. Let's get Maridon. Maridon's so strong. 
It's crazy. Tan bulbs. Yeah, Nettie. I know it's exciting. I know it's super exciting. I know. Okay, I'll give you a treat. Damn, Flaffy's in the dish in the p over here. Da da darn. Bloop. Okay, I give you a treat. She loves treats so much. You love them so much. There you go, sweetie pie. Well, I can see Belly Bolt being really, really good in this matchup. Not only is Lugia weak to Lightning, but, um, yeah, Lugia is weak to Lightning, but all of their Pokemon are these chonky boys that want to sit in the active spot and just smash you for 200 frickin' damage. So being able to paralyze them is going to be a great thing uh, for the rest of this game because they're just not going to be able to get out of it a lot of the time. Um, these decks don't play too many switches and escape ropes. They're kind of more like a sit and hit type of deck. Single strike, I guess, right? Would be the proper term. But, I mean, Professor's Research is looking super juicy. I think we're gonna dump this energy before we do anything else. Maybe I shouldn't have slammed out my third Tad Bulb. Because now we don't have room for Greninja. Um, and that's gonna be pretty crucial in this game, I think, no matter what. Luminion. So they're gonna go get Professor Burnett and dump two of their stupid Archaeopses into the discard pile. They get Iona and say, you want a brand new sixth? I'm like, yes, sure. <laughs> uh, um, sure. That's why I don't really like Iona. And that's why I don't really like, like, a lot of those types of cards. Is this only Pokemon V? Pokemon V, are we playing any Pokemon V? <laughs> I don't think we're playing any Pokemon V. I think we're just playing Pokemon EXs. So maybe we messed up putting that card into our deck. Yeah, I don't think we're playing any Pokemon V. So this card can't be played in our deck, unfortunately. Damn, I forgot about that card. We should probably put Squawkabilly in our deck too. Because we can just dump the hand with a bunch of energy in there and draw six. But they can't use it unless it's on their first turn. Is this their first turn still? Jeez. This is their first turn. It's ridiculous. This is insanity. Like, you like Arvin, kid? I'm like, no. Arvin doesn't do anything for me now. I think I get this, right? <laughs> Alright, I get electric generator, one of the two. Um... The fact I have forest steel stone in my hand, it's kind of making me embarrassed, but let's go right now, right? 
Eh, right now. Let's do a switch. Damn it. Missed it. Should I just concede? I mean, he can only get one Archeops out. Which is probably enough to win this game, but... Well, his uh, Iona definitely worked. I don't think it worked, but it definitely worked. So that's kind of frustrating. The game handed us six cards and said, play with these. I'm like, I actually can't play with these. My bench is full. Pikachu ain't doing a lot. So maybe we can cut Pikachu. Um, I can see us adding a few more <laughs> energy to this deck, which I know is not a good thing, but I really prefer to play with extra energy rather than not enough coming from the world of magic the gathering okay i'm gonna concede this kid is fucking retarded hate playing against these kids who are just so dumb i copied a deck it takes me 25 minutes to make stupid decisions i'm like you're an idiot dude get me out of this game let's change up this deck a little bit i guess we're not gonna play with arvin at least not two copies, we can play with one. We won't play with Forest Steel Stone unless we play with, um, whatchamacallum. Uh, let's drop down to two. We don't need three. Let's drop down Pikachu. Whatchamacallum, um... What's his name? Raikou? Something like that. Raikou! Ooh, we got this one. Alright, we'll throw one of him in here. Why not? He's good enough to play. And what else shall we do? Uh, I need more energy in this deck. Oh, Netty! I don't think so. 2-9? I guess so. Versus a 3-8. I feel like I should play more. Maybe I should get rid of these, right? I guess so. I mean... Let's get rid of Switch instead. We can keep... Am I playing 4 Switch? No. It's just in here for some reason. Why is it still in here? Oh, I just added some by accident. <laughs> Duh. Let's do one more. Two of these. I prefer to play with a little more energy than normal. Let's jump it up one more so we hit these stupid electro generators often. And what else? Should we do one more Arvin? I mean, we're not playing any tools, so it's only going to hit the cross switcher. Sure. Come on back in, Arvin. We'll do two of you just for shits and giggles and say, I doubt it's going to be something that we love, but we can try it again. I just want to attack with Belly Bolt, and I don't want to play any comfy decks today. That's what I'm praying for. Going, I'm praying that I don't play comfy, and I'm praying that... Sweet baby Jesus comes back. Yeah. Just because we want to be evolving before our opponent, I think. The game goes, how do you like that? I'm like, that's amazing. Maridon's great. 
battle VIP pass is basically unnecessary now because Maridon's so strong. Playing against a Psychic deck. Which should still be a pretty good matchup if we can get our Belly Bolt game on. Three battle VIP passes. The game doesn't know what to do with my deck. They're like, just give him four battle VIP passes. Because, you know, you play Maridon and you get all four battle VIP passes in your opening hand. Of course, that's how the game works, right? Isn't that how the game works? I thought that's just how the game works. Well, I like this card. So we're getting both of these just to maybe draw a couple more cards, right? We'll show them all our battle VIP passes. Should we just get one at a time? <laughs> yeah, let's just get one at a time. Be like, I don't even need all my battle VIP passes. We're going to show them all of them. Be like, boom, bam. Look at all these battle VIP passes. And we're just going to get one Pokemon at a time just to mess with him. Ooh, one more battle VIP pass. <laughs> So stupid, dude. You know, it's just so stupid. Um, let's do two more reaps, and maybe we should view the rest of our cards, right? Yeah, there's one belly bolt in there. Okay, I like what's going on here. Maybe we should have played the nest ball too. We should have canceled that. Oh well, thinking too much about it. <sighs> Electric generator got one. Okay. I mean, this is stronger. Gotta put it there. Gotta put it where it's stronger. Yeah, we just got four battle VIP passes in our opening hand. That's just... Something's wrong about that. But this game has been acting quite funny recently. Ever since they switched it from beta to, beta to the full game, I feel like something's off about it. But I've felt that way about a lot of these card games. Except for when I play poker online a lot of the time. Like, poker online seems really, really even. Pokemon online seems a little crooked sometimes. Just being like, our opening hand was four battle VIP passes, two cross switchers, a nest ball, and Maridon. I don't know, something seems off about that to me. But, whatever. Should we draw it? Probably, right? We can slam that out. We can uh, draw two more. Hopefully, we get a stupid energy, or we just say, nah, cross switcher out something. I don't know, I like drawing it. I like drawing a couple cards here. That looks good to me. I think we can still do our cross switcher, why not, right? Should we do Mew? Or this? I'm down to take out Mew. That makes a little bit of sense to me. This thing has a gnarly energy on it though, so I think I'm going to take that stupid thing out because that energy gets really out of hand pretty quickly. We don't need another energy in our discard pile. Let's concede! I don't want to play against you. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Put two Pokemon EX into play. Oh, I did that. That's pretty good. Getting rewarded for playing the game. Oh my god, this shit. I don't know why they keep doing this. Look at this. Look at these prizes. Okay, so the credits. You get Iona. You get Battle VIP Pass, which I've gotten three times in the past three different things. And a pack. And I'm just like, why are they giving out Battle VIP Passes? Is it just for the credit? A Gardevoir EX. One of the strongest EX Pokemons. Alright, um... I didn't feel anything with that game. I had four battle VIP passes, Maridon, I didn't need to do anything. I just sat there and said... This is easy!
Should we put Bidoof in our deck? I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I'm going first, hooray! Hooray! I guess this goes out in the active spot. I guess that goes out in the active spot. Oh, hooray. Getting to play comfy. It's just what I wanted. To play comfy. It's exactly what I wanted. Playing comfy. God, my ride on so insane. So freaking insane. Attack the third damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. It just doesn't knock anything out. It's poopy. I think it's greedy to draw another card right now. So, um, we have to watch Comfy for a half hour, so let's talk about something. Let's talk about how brutal this Comfy deck really is to play against, and how unfun it is, and how they definitely should ban the titties off of this thing. Oh, okay. Alright, well we lucked out there. <laughs> We lucked out there. That's pretty nice to get our stuff. So that's good. We get to slam out one of these jet energies. Bam. Then we go puff us as research. And we can go. Let's do this first. And I think that we do do this, right? Boom. Bam. Get Emperor's. We can go bada bing, bada boom. God, this deck is awesome. This deck is freaking awesome. Oh my god, and I can draw a card? Jeez. Oh, these decks are so freaking strong, dude. Should we pass to the peak so he doesn't Greninja us? Yeah, we don't need to draw more cards. And 160 to your pretty little uh, Sableye, son. Well, it feels good to be playing an aggressive deck. I've been playing really, really controlling decks, and they're kind of difficult to play in Pokemon just because you don't get to interact with your opponent's turn. Um, so there's a lot you can do to get out of controlling situations in Pokemon that you can't do so much in Magic the Gathering. When you play Pokemon, you know, he's getting his turn right now. He can play a Stadium, get that path to the peak out of the way, then he can slam his Greninja out and do a lot of stuff. Um... But, you know, I mean... Okay. 
Joo, boo. I guess we just keep slamming and jamming, right? Like why why even waste it, right? Just keep blasting in. Yeah, I don't care about that. We got so much resources right now. We can just keep I hate these comfy decks, so I'm glad he's not finding his stuff. Just to be honest with you out there. I really do hate these comfy decks, and I'm glad that he's suffering. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> um, we haven't been able to attack with Belly Bolt yet, which is sad, but I hope that we fight against like a another Lugia deck tomorrow that we can actually do some stuff with. Um, so what's he at right now? He's at three. Let's just do this. Because I don't want you doing anything to me. And let's start putting it on Flaffy himself because that's a good idea. Boom! Paralyzing ball. We don't even need to discard nothing. Would you like to discard energy? No. You know what's cool about Belly Bolt is like these are not his eyes. These are his eyes. And I thought these were his eyes when I first looked at him, but then I looked at him again and I was like, oh, he's got eyes on the side of his head. But I was reading today that these are actually his electrical discharges. Like his little electrical, uh, um, whatchamacallums. Organs, like Pikachu's red cheeks, basically. I thought that was pretty interesting. And you know what else is pretty interesting? Slamming out a Dynamorder and blasting this kid in the face for 220 damage and saying, I don't really care if I discard these energies because I don't want you evolving. I just want to blast you in the face. Zoop. Okay. 220, 220. It's insane, you know? It's insane how... Like, I don't play these decks ever. I don't like these crazy cards. I like building things that are a little more, like, rich in my sense of the word to the, like, way the game can be played. I like, you know, doing little off-beat moves, and these 220 attacks for three are bananas. Especially in these <laughs> lightning decks where you're just like... Um, an energy from my hand, Flaffy, uh, and attack for 220. Or Electric Generator. Oh man, these decks are insane. This kid's gonna keep playing for some odd reason, but sure. Mirage Gate, Mirage Gate! Like, why haven't they banned Mirage Gate yet? They need to ban Mirage Gate or limit it to one. I think they should limit it to one in a deck. Like, you can have one Mirage Gate in your deck, you just can't have four of them. Because being able to take, like, get four energy for literally nothing at all, is he going to concede before I attack? No? He's going to stay out here? Okay. Very good. Um, yeah, I think Mirage Gate... I don't have so much of a problem with Comfy. I think Comfy's a good card. I think Comfy can be used in a lot of different decks. I think Mirage Gate is what's the problem. 
and it's ridiculous, you know? It's absolutely ridiculous to be able to quote-unquote play the game and then just get free energy for the rest of the game from an item card. It's insane. Or they need to change it to a supporter card, dude. Like, just change it to a supporter card and the game is totally fair again. I think that's like, if they did that, if they did, like if they made Mirage Gate into a supporter, which it absolutely should be, there's no reason that it should be an item card, then that it would be so much more fair. Because the deck is still strong, you know, being able to look at the top two cards of your deck uh, multiple times in a turn and choose whichever cards you want and start to build up things like Sableye and start to build up things like, you know, one, a supporter type Mirage Gate, I think makes the game so much more fair. Having it as an item card where you're just like, mm, I have no more cards left in my deck, shuffle in five energy, go get seven of them, um, and then do one of those crazy moves that wins me the game. And I'm like, I don't like playing against that. It makes it so unenjoyable. But I also think that, whatchamacallit, is overpowered, um, Electric Generator is overpowered too. You know, Electric Generator is really strong as well. So we're gonna play Chimpao. And the unfortunate thing about Chimpao is that it's an Ice type, so it's weak to Metal, so we don't have the advantage here until we start hitting origin form Palkia in the face, but, oh yeah, we forgot to put in Squawkabilly. Should we still put in Squawkabilly in our deck? Maybe. It's strong. It's definitely, like, useful, especially in this position right now, being like, uh, Squawkabilly, draw six new cards. Mmm... <laughs> What are we going to do here? Our paralyzing attack is going to be pretty good. It's 160 damage. We can knock out the Bax Caliber with ease. Um, this kid is only half a noob because he's playing with one of the correct Frigibax and one of the incorrect Frigibax. Because there's absolutely no reason to ever play this one. It has two retreat. Should always be playing the one with the single retreat cost. I guess we get Manaphy too, because we don't want to get blasted in the face. Or maybe I should have got um, this thing. That would have been smart. Because then I could have got Greninja, but oh well. Oh well.
These kids, man, I'm telling you, they're so annoying to play against. They build these insane decks that they just copy from everybody, and then they concede because they don't win on the second turn. Like, I really don't like playing against those types of players. But they're children, and they know nothing. I don't, see what I'm saying? The game is totally fucked right now. Every time you finish a game, they're like, You collected zero, zero, zero. Oh, dang. You did nothing. I'm like, dude, this game is so... Ch a little bit of a mess right now, I think, in my personal opinion. In my personal opinion, it's a little bit of a messy thing right, right now. I wish they never did that. Like, got rid of Pokemon TCGO. I think online was better. That's what I think. I think online was better. But we're grateful to be playing the game today. That's what we're grateful for. We're grateful that God has been screaming at us for two and a half, three weeks. Saying, dude, you gotta play Belly Bolt, dude. Play Belly Bolt. I'm like, I'm playing a different deck right now. He's like, all right, get rid of the cards that Ian... Temporarily ban the cards that Ian's playing, so he has to play Belly Bolt. I was like, okay. If I'm forced to play it, then I f fucking will, right? That's how life has been for a long time. The universe shuts every door down and says, you have to do what I'm telling you to do. Or else you can go fuck yourself. And I'm like, okay, then I'll do what you're telling me to do. Because otherwise I have to go fuck myself. So... Doesn't leave me with too many options. That happened with my job at Louis Vuitton. That happened... With my dad's dog recently. The universe is pushing him to go move to France and they murdered his dog and now he has to move to France. Same thing they did with my Louis Vuitton job, where they murdered my Louis Vuitton job and forced me to go chase this Pokemon dream. Which is, uh, something I wanted to do, but nobody likes to be forced to do something that they want to do. <laughs> Maybe somebody does. Maybe somebody loves to be forced to do what they want to do. I don't really feel that way a lot of the time. I feel uncomfortable when I get forced to do something makes me not want to do it for some reason. God damn, dude, these hands are insane. I wish I could get these hands with my stupid other deck. You know, I'd be on fire every single game. These hands are so insane. It's such a stupid game. I just hate playing this game, honestly. Just like, dude, the deck that I built never works. This deck is slaughtering things. And that keeps happening. Every single time I build a new deck, it's so much stronger than the deck that I play with, which I think is insanely strong. Mm, boo -doo 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 -doo. Nothing. Nothing. But I played my energy already. Damn it. Oh man. It's 
so weird. Maradon is so freaking strong. It is insane how strong it is. I don't know. Four energy and an electric generator. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Game. Silly game. Like, screw this kid. Give him as much energy as possible. I miss Klefki. So he's playing United Wings and Curlia. Okay. Okay. United Wings, because you can discard your Curlias. Sure. There's plenty of other things you could do that with. And Galarian Arctic. <laughs> Reconstitute all you want. You should be playing Squawkabilly. What is this? I was like, is this weak to lightning? Imagine. Mm. Alright, so what's our game plan here? I mean, we don't have anything to do. We can draw two cards with Greninja. We can use our jet energy to get out there and start smacking. Probably don't want to knock out this Flamigo because we don't want to increase that at all. They say, give him another goddamn fucking energy. I'm like, okay. Okay. Give me the goddamn battlefield. <laughs> this game is funny sometimes. Just one. Man, we're hitting all our energy. We're hitting every energy. Do 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 do. What's it gonna be? An energy? Oh, I'm alright on. Alright then. Take 200. Straight to the dome, sucka. I mean, these decks are fun to play, for sure. Like, more aggressive type decks. They're easier on the brain. My brain doesn't feel <laughs> exhausted at all. It's really easy, actually. Like, attack. <laughs> Simple. I've been playing really complicated decks that hurt my brain when I play them. Because you play against all these comfy decks and you're like, okay, shut you down. I know you can do crazy stuff to me. I gotta get my Greninja game on. I gotta start smashing your board. I gotta take extra turns. I gotta do so much crap just to win this game. But with these types of decks, you're like, electric generator, I switch and smash. Like, that's so easy. And it's good, too. That's what's crazy about it. Tadbolt, not doing a lot these games. Bellybolt is not exactly fitting into the format very well. 50 damage to anything does pretty much nothing, because you're not knocking anything out. And 160 for 3 is really only good against Lugia... Arceus, Giratina, those types of decks. It doesn't hit so well against uh, what we're seeing right now. Or Comfy. Or what else? I guess it hits pretty good against Chimpao. What's he got in here? Seven of them? 
Six, uh, that's 120 minus two is 100 damage. Wow. I guess we don't need mana fee. Jeez, all right, um, let's go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Show me the money. I wonder if Flaffy's even in our freaking deck right now, right? Flaffy, are you in my deck? Jet energy's not doing us much good. Cross switcher is a dead card, which is exactly why I don't usually play cross switcher. Um, down to just slam this out. Boom. There's that goddamn Flaffy. We retreat again, right? Played our energy like a doo-doo head. We can retreat. This is gonna go away. But that's okay. We gotta keep the game moving. We'll go... One. Two. And say, is there another Mareep in our deck? Yeah, there is. Go with belly boat. Get my reap. Guess we do four hundred. most likely knocking us out next turn, but that'll only catch up the game. So, how many does he have in here? Let's see. He's got nine, so he's got eight, so he's got 160 damage. Um, oh, one. oh, he's playing that energy just so he can hit the darkness energy, I guess. Electric generator is insane. It's insane. Such a crazy card. Such a crazy card. Two twenty. It's too easy. It's so easy. It's so freaking easy, dude. You're just like, energy, energy, 220. It's insane, it's so easy. <sighs> Maybe that's what we should aim, start doing, just saying, what's the easiest thing? 
What's the easiest thing that deals the most damage the fastest? It's crazy. It's so easy. He's got seven cards left in his deck. How much damage is he doing? Three, seven, thirteen. No, that can't be right. Eight, eleven, sorry. So 220 damage, huh? It's a lot. It's definitely enough. Well, we, uh, we might have a little bit of an issue here. But he's not going to be able to knock out Belly Bolt in one hit, so we should be good, actually. Because we can, we can definitely win the game uh, in the next two turns, and I don't think that they'll be able to. Just because their deck doesn't do that much damage. I wonder why they put that out there. Why not just hold it in your hand and try and discard it? Gosh, imagine if this was 50 HP, we could just pew, knock it out. Alright, goodbye hand. We got Cross Switcher Mania over here. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. So we could Cross Switcher this, hit it and paralyze it. <clears throat> Which is probably what we should do, right? Probably. Wait, do we have three cards left in our deck? <laughs> wow, okay. Um, so we definitely need to win right now. We definitely need to win as fast as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna stop playing like a doo-doo head. I'm gonna bring this out. I'm gonna hope that he doesn't have um, that stupid what you gonna call it? That stupid uh, something that makes him switch, right? That's what I hope. I hope he doesn't have a switch card. We're gonna pause that thing there. I don't know, Belly Bolt's okay. It's not like, I'm not, I'm not loving it right now. It's like, okay. I think it matches up better against bigger decks. It doesn't match up so good against these types of decks. If a uh, jumping press was like 60 or 70 damage, I think it'd be really, really good but the 50 damage just doesn't do enough. All right, Flaffy, you might lose us the game, buddy, but get your ass out there. Now it's great about, I mean, what's great about the jumping press now is that when he switches this back to his bench, we can still knock it out, which is gonna be awesome for us. But 210 is a little bit low on the HP scale for double prize Pokemon, I think. It's like 220, 230 is a lot of them. 210 is like average. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay, here's our chance. So we're gonna go boom! Atakuno, goodbye! And he's gonna go 220 more damage. And <clears throat> if he can't uh, boss his orders one of these out, maybe we can win, right? I guess I have to do this just in case he does boss his order me out. And if I do that and we top and we get our, uh, whatchamacallit? 
Boom, baby. I think because we're going to get Ampharos probably in one of these prizes. Yeah, baby. So that could change things. As long as he can't boss his orders these out, we're fine. Please don't boss those orders! How many has he played this game? There's two. So two and a Serena. I don't know if he has any more in his deck. We might be in the clear. Chawzord! Um, I guess he could play Charizard with uh, this energy, right? Jeez. Would it have knocked me out? No? Okay, well, hey. Ooh, I think we might win. That's fun. And now we can just pass the turn back. We don't even need to attack. Belly bolt! Should we attack? Alright, we'll be a gentleman. We'll be a gentleman, we'll attack. We won't, uh, we won't just pass the turn back. Boom. Goodbye, ditto. And hello, sixth prize. Um, well, the deck worked. And it's been working way better than, uh, my deck, but... I mean, my personal deck that I will not show on this channel. But that's the way it tends to go with these types of decks that I build, where I'm just like, This is so easy! Alright, well, I mean, that was successful. The game looks like it's kind of glitching out, so I think that I'm gonna... call it there and say, I played Belly Bolt. You can't ask me to play Belly Bolt again, God. You've asked me a thousand times in the past three weeks to play Belly Bolt. I'm wearing my green shirt. We did it. It's okay. It's about as good as I thought it was going to be, where it's strong against some decks and medium against other decks. But the real magic is that goddamn Maradon. As always, happy collecting. Good luck in any of your games, and I will see you next time.